Welcome back, family and friends, to another episode of Independent Joe. And tonight, the last night of the year, New Year's Eve, um, I'm bringing you some heat. I'm bringing you Hirsch, which is 127 proof. This one right here is one of their special releases. Um, I've had one of their non-special releases, which was a four-year-old. I think it was uh, MGP in the bottle, and I thought, man, I'm getting something really good here, and I, I, I honestly didn't appreciate the bottle as much as maybe some other people did, but that, that's the good thing about this whiskey community is that we all have different palettes, and, you know, that's just the way it is. So um, this one right here, of course, is uh, pretty special because it is finished in... Heinz, uh, 30 year old Hein XO Cognac casks. Man, that's a mouthful. Um, and I'm hoping that a lot of that nice, sweet cognac flavor is gonna, gonna transfer over. I did uh, prime my palate a little bit with some Willet because technically, the, I, I mean, they don't say it. I mean, the, uh, the mash bill kind of does at uh, 73 uh 73 corn or 72 corn 13% rye and 15% malted barley which these two store picks are the same exact uh mash bill right here and these are presumably uh willet products as well both by Hirsch as well this one is seven year nine month willet and this one a seven year seven month this one right here, not far behind at seven year, six month will it. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, I Like I said, I am priming my, my palette uh, with a little bit of will it. Of course, lighter, it is uh, eight year, but it is at a, a lower proof. Uh, these are, this one is at a 108. So did my review of that earlier, of course, in contention for, for myself anyways of uh, in the top 10 of my uh, uh, of my top 10 whiskeys of the year. Um, just what got one thing to say about that. Um, I, I've, I've been flipping through a lot of different channels, just curious on, you know, of course, watching different channels do their, their tops and everything like that. And, you know, I, I enjoyed every single one of them, every single person that has a flavor profile that likes whiskey that loves whiskey that likes to share with other people it what in their opinion is what they like and what they've tasted for the year um so with that with saying that um to to those other channels who have an issue with people putting out their top tens saying how ridiculous it is and all this other stuff uh, I want to say a lot more, but I, I all I'm saying is, well, why? If if you don't like the way people whiskey the whiskey community, uh, you know, let's uh, let's their community know uh, what their favorites are. It's none of your goddamn business. <laughs> that's 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 all I got to say about that. Um, probably negative, and I don't want to start this new year, so I'm, that's why I'm doing it at the end of 2022 going into 2023 that's the last negative thing I, I say it's none of your goddamn business okay let people enjoy their whiskey let people tell people what they enjoyed throughout the year it has nothing to do with you and okay i'm gonna jump off that negativity now i don't like being negative i don't like when other channels talk negatively about other channels and um that's just that's just childish and just dumb, to be honest. So that's the, that's all I gotta say. That's all the negativity. I'm leaving that in 2022. From here on out, 2023, uh, positive Joe, positive independent Joe is gonna be in the house. Of course, the next time you see me, I am gonna have a different setup. Um, this is gonna stay down here. Not not the whiskey, of course. It's 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 going somewhere else. And it's going to my new little area where I'm going to actually start uh, doing videos and stuff like that. So this might be the last video unless I do an impromptu live between now and the, in, in the next few days, which 
Probably not, um, but you never know. Uh, so just 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 know that all this, you'll see this again, but it'll be in a different setting. Uh, hopefully it'll be a better setting, uh, maybe a little more comfortable for me. I'm probably gonna take a seat. You know, I know a lot of uh, channels, uh, great channels uh, like sitting down and discussing the whiskey and man, they look comfortable. And for the past almost two years now of doing this, um, I've been standing, you know, there's, a, I think, one or two other channels that stand while they, they do reviews. And um, I, I don't know. I think I'm going to take a seat. I'm going to try try taking a seat for a little bit, see if I get comfortable. If not, I'll put a platform or I'll put something up to uh, to prop me up and, uh, and then get back to standing. But I'll be in that other area. It won't be in this area anymore. So say goodbye to this. This view of Independent Joe, this one is going away. But I appreciate everybody who supported me up to this point. Love you guys. Thank you. Thank you, patrons, for supporting me again. I can't thank you enough. Um, it's, it's just awesome, you know. I, I didn't think that I would ever see uh, that milestone of a thousand subs and and then and then you guys got me beyond that and it's all because of you that i'm i'm still doing this uh i appreciate you guys and i just thank you for your support and everything that you've you've done for 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 this right here independent joe but um just wanted to thank you and uh and since i i had a, a negative point there i gotta let I got to end it with a, a positive note, and I just wanted to say I appreciate you all. You know, uh, you know, a lot, all of us have different palettes. All of us have, you know, we have an opinion, and we just like to share it. We just like to be on here, get to meet new people. Uh, met so many great people throughout 2022, and that's I think that's what it's all about. You know, it doesn't it doesn't matter how you drink your whiskey. It doesn't matter what you drink. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, all that matters is that is that you're sharing it and you're, you're that fellowship, that, that camaraderie, that, that thing that, that's bringing us together is, is, un, you know, it's, it's, it's in these, it contained in these bottles. So, but I just wanted to say, you know, thank you. Thank you again. I was almost starting to go back into the negative portion, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everybody who has supported this channel and, and helped it grow. Now back to the whiskey. Uh, sorry about all the all that other stuff. <laughs> all right, so Hirsch. All right, Hirsch. Nine thousand bottles. Nine thousand bottles. U.S. distribution. Um, not that many, if you if you think about um, how many people enjoy uh, whiskey. So um, I know that the price range can hurt uh, some people's wallets. Uh, definitely put a dent in mine. Uh, I think this release was uh, late September, early October time frame or around that time frame. And I was glad to get a bottle. Um, luckily lower than some of the MSRPs that are out there. So um, because it can range anywhere from uh, 169 to like two something secondary plus, you know, I, I don't know how far it goes up, but I assume it's going to be... Um, yeah, astronomical because of that it's a again a limited release it's labeled as will it purple top purple top so you know um i think it's great i think it's great that 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 they're coming out with these i think the 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 flavor profile i like especially in this one right here it's it's getting low it's getting low but uh and this one is is pretty low too i mean I enjoy I enjoy these ones right here, very comparable to uh, the actual Willet bottles and the other Willet Willet products that I've tried, uh, as far as the bourbon bourbons. Uh, I, I I'm, I'm a big fan of, of Willet, you know, a big fan of all whiskey really, you know, Jim Beam, um, Old Forester, Wild Turkey. I mean, Heaven Hill. I could I could name them all, but because I've been I've been lucky enough to get to taste so many different whiskeys throughout the year um you know back to the topic of, of my top 10 i mean i'm gonna do my top 10 i'm gonna do it a little different uh it'll probably be later than it you know a lot of people's uh who are man they they've they've been pumping them out and they, all of them are great you know all of them are great you know they have 
gets it's cool to see like different people's palates, different people's um, perspective on on what they're tasting and what they like and what they enjoy throughout the year. And mine is gonna, of course, I'm gonna do a top ten, um, which is gonna be kind of hard because it's gonna be a, a bunch of different ones, um, and then trying to um, trying to determine whether or not and it's gonna be alive. It's not gonna be. Uh, so I'm gonna be on this, and I'm gonna sit down for this one because I definitely don't. Want, after ten pours, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to be standing now. I, that, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be that bad because I'm not gonna pour full ounces in there. I'm just gonna go through and then taste them, you know. And I'm gonna make. I won't make that noise when I'm doing it though. <laughs> so yeah, French oak. Jumped right back into it. French oak, uh, which is is what a lot of. Uh, uh, along with sherry, French oak this year uh, was a big hit. Um, finished in was and 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 man, so many great bottles that came out. Um, this one right here, and is hopefully isn't any different. Hope it might make the uh, my my top ten. I don't know. I know again that will it is. And uh, this bottle is called the Cast Strength. <laughs> so. Um, that's cool. The cast strength. Um, this is Hirsch Selected Whiskeys, the cast strength. All right, so I think I covered everything. I'm just going to go ahead and go into the nose right here. I don't know if I did say this is, uh, seven and a half years, but six years will it, um, 18 months, year and a half, finished in, um, those, those Heinz cognac barrels, those XO cognac barrels really nice really nice kind of what i was felt i feel like i it's what i was been drinking i had a lower proof this one the really the the aroma is really nice really sweet it's all fruit uh just just really nice fruits in there and uh got some brown sugar just really nice aroma. Uh, so much stuff is going through my head right now. But yeah. Uh, I'm just going to get into the taste of this. Check check, check out this. The uh, glass. It's coating very well. Hopefully that, that transfers over to the palate. Um, I haven't seen too many reviews on this. Or really any <laughs> reviews on this. I know that there might be some out there. But... Getting a little bit of coffee now on there. I don't. I don't know where that came from. It's just a light espresso. Just a really nice aroma. It's 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 changing as it's sitting up in in, in in the glass. Just really nice flavors coming through. Oof. Definitely higher in proof from what I. I was trying to um, prime my palate with. Woo! Man, 127. 127 hits hard. I, I, you know what? This is at 138.3. It didn't feel this way uh, on, the, on the palate on this one. Man, I don't remember it feeling this way. This one is just heat. I thought I was doing good by primer you know, priming it with uh, this uh, Willet over here at 108. Might have need to go a little bit higher. Still nice though. Still nice. Um, still nice. Still nice. I'll, I'll leave it at that right now. Let me let me go in on another uh, another taste. Cheers, everybody. Again, appreciate you. Love you. Thank you. Cheers. Okay, it's tamed down a little bit. It was it was just that initial shock. Really nice fruity flavors on the palate. I'm not getting that coffee on, on the on the palate, but I, I was getting on the nose for some weird reason. Uh, really sweet. Um, I won't say it's uh, really coating on the mouth, but it does it does ex it does spread the flavor very well. Uh, but it does dry out just a little bit, maybe because of the high proof. Um, 
getting slight oak on there, not too too much. Some uh, man, some nice nice uh, raisin in that. I feel like I have to keep regenerating the uh, the flavor with this one. Hmm, it's interesting. Uh, when I was drinking this this Willet a little while ago, I was just thinking, wow, this is just really nice. The flavors lasting a bit. Everything's, you know, this one is just it's it's like a, a quick a quick blast of flavor, and it does linger. Of course, it does linger, but it's just. Um, it just seems, I don't know. It seems when it when it once it dries down, it 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 doesn't just dissipate. It kind of just kind of kind of makes you start thinking, damn, is my mouth dry or do I need to take another drink? That, that, there goes that. It, it you get a light oak in there. It's weird that you would get a light oak on that because, I mean, thirty year old finished in thirty year old uh, cognac cast. That's I mean, I, I don't know how, if it was, if they had 30 year old cognac, dumped it out and then threw in, threw in these, uh, uh, threw in these, uh, these, uh, this juice right here. So, hmm. but it, it is nice. It is sweet. Uh, you get again, fruits, all that stuff. A little bit of caramel now is coming through on the finish. It's nice. Uh, um, I'm going to have to let it set in the glass for a little bit uh, because there is an overwhelming sense of heat on that um, and maybe let it open up a little bit. But I, I think overall it's a really nice pour. Um, this is a fresh crack. I know a lot of people, again, you know, they get, again, it, look, let people do the reviews how they want to do the reviews, okay? Don't get upset on people doing fresh crack. Oh, but you can't tell this or you can't tell that. When I drank the Jack Daniels the other day and it was a fresh crack, it was wow. And I thought, I, I, in my mind, I'm, think, I'm only thinking things can only get better. Um, that's, that's my mindset, okay? So this right here, I think it's a good start. I think it'll, once it sets in, in the glass, just like the uh, Knob Creek 18, again, offended maybe some people about, you know, what their favorite was and what you know what I'm saying is not going to be in my top 10 it's not that it isn't good it's just that uh, compared to what I've had I, I feel like maybe that Knob Creek 18 is just a little light it the finish is is a little thin for me um, even even uh, right on the palate it's a little thin for me so um, but it's nothing to as it settled down in the glass, it did change a little. I actually added some more and uh, into the glass, and then I let it set for longer. Um, and and then it got better. Well, with the Jack Daniels, I didn't have to do all that. So a lot of that first impression stuff for me is important. So may not be for for other people, and you know that's that's okay because again, drink the whiskey how you want to drink it. If you want to do a fresh crack review or you want to do drink about half the bottle and then and then do your review then do that so i felt like that was going a little bit on the negative side what is it today maybe because i'm mad because 2022 is over i don't know but um appreciate you all um that's all i got for you um i i feel like this is this is a weird one. I don't even know if I'm going to post it now. I'm going to have to think about it. Hopefully, I don't. I, if I post it, I might post it late. Um, so I'm going to have to rewatch it and, and see whether or not I, I really want to post this. I, and plus, it went long because of the rants and stuff. And I don't really like doing that. But um, cheers to everybody. Appreciate your support. Thank you for your time. All your time uh, for this past year, for the past couple of years, as, as the community has grown. And um, I just can't thank you enough. Have a safe, happy new year with your family. Um, be responsible, of course. Drink water. Drink water. It's okay. Uh, there was an antidote for, for drinking whiskey or drinking any type of beverage. Drink water. It's good. It's good for you. Um, cheers, everybody. Have a good morning, afternoon, good night, whatever time you're watching this. Really appreciate you. Love you. And I, I, can't, I can't wait to show you the rest, the rest of, of how it's going to look. 
on the uh, uh, when I do my first comeback video of, of the year. So um, hopefully it won't be too long. I'm going to try to get that done really quick for you guys. And I really appreciate you. Love you. Thank you. Thank you for your support. See you on the next one. Cheers.